Hey there, you guys want to see how easy it is to change the uh, automatic transmission fluid on this Honda Civic 2006 EX? Come along for the ride, I'll show you. And looking at the engine right here, your transmission dipstick is that yellow dipstick right there. When we're ready to fill it up, we'll pull that dipstick out. In fact, we will uh, pull it out just a little bit. Just let it sit there. That way uh, air can go in there. But that's where we're going to fill it from, right there. And from the front of the car, if you look, this little arrow right here tells you where to jack the car up. We're going to put the jack right there, jack the car up. And on each side of the car, right here, those are your brackets where we'll put the jack stands. Don't ever get under a vehicle without having jack stands on it. And we'll put the emergency brake on and we'll chalk the wheels just so it doesn't go anywhere. And coming from the front of the vehicle here, just go to the same spot where that arrow is. Just look back a little further, right there. That's your drain plug for your transmission. All we're going to do is put a 3 8 inch wrench on that and take it off, loosen it. Just make sure you have a uh, drain pan nearby because it's going to come out pretty fast. Alright, with your drain pan nearby, we'll go ahead and take our 3 8 inch ratchet. We'll go ahead and take it off. As you can see, it helps to have a longer ratchet because some of these are on there pretty tight. And just break it loose like that. And if you have a short extension, especially one that has some grip on there, you can put it in there. That way, when you pull it out, it gives you a little more room. You won't... Hopefully, you don't get hot transmission fluid all over you. As you can see, I didn't get any on my hands. Just let it drain out just like that. The bolts should have some or probably will have some uh, metal shavings on there. Just take a rag and uh, wipe off the metal shavings. And you can see there's a washer on here. You should always replace these. Here's the part number for these uh, washers for the automatic transmission fluid. What's nice is Honda hasn't changed the design in them like forever. And once it's down to a slow drip with your clean bolt and your new washer, we'll go ahead and put it back in. And with a standard ratchet, we'll just go ahead and get it snugged up. And then with a torque wrench, we're going to put it to 36 foot-pounds. Probably won't be much more than what we snugged it up to. And you can see right there, that's all you need to do. If you don't have a torque wrench, use your mind, not your muscle, and just get it snug. Alright, go ahead and take your rag, clean up any mess you made. Now that we're done draining it, we'll go ahead and pull the dipstick out. And you're going to need some kind of funnel to fill it up through the dipstick hole. Either a fatter one or a skinnier one like this. Sometimes on the Hondas you need a skinny one like this. In this case, this one, the fatter one, will fit just fine. Alright, and to fill up, we're going to use the, um, two and a half quarts of uh, Honda automatic transmission fluid. Don't use anything else. Uh, if you use any other transmission fluid, you're just asking for trouble. You want your Honda to run like a Honda, you got to use this stuff. Uh, most Hondas take three quarts when you do a drain and fill, or 2.9 on some of them. But on this 2006 to 2010 Civic, it only takes two and a half quarts. All right, here's quart number one. 
And here's number two. And number three. We're only going to put about a half a cord in here. And right there, half a quart. All right, after letting it drain for a little bit, go ahead and remove your funnel. Make sure you have a rag handy. And put your dipstick back in. And go ahead and lower the car, take it off jack stands, and then we'll go ahead and run it. And go ahead and pull the chocks from your wheels. And go ahead and check it. Make sure that you have some fluid on the dipstick there. And we do. All right, now go ahead and start the car and run it through all of the gears. Make sure you keep your foot on the brake. Now that was just a quick and dirty run through. Now we'll let the car sit for 60 seconds and we'll check the fluid level. Alright, after 60 seconds, between 60 and 90 seconds, that's when you go ahead and check your fluid again. You can see it's right about perfect, but it's not at full operating temperature. So now we'll take it for a test drive. Usually you should go, you got to get it up to operating temperature, usually maybe about 10 miles or so, 8 to 10 miles, drive it, and then come back. We'll do the same thing. We'll wait 60 seconds, and then we'll test it again, make sure on our final level. All right, now that you took it for your test drive, we'll go ahead and wait 60 seconds and then we'll check it. All right, now that it's been about 60 seconds, go ahead and take it out. Be careful, it's going to be warm. Wipe it off, reinsert it firmly, pull it out. You can see pretty much right there, right where it should be. It might be hard to see on the camera. But it's right there. Perfectly at the top of the hash marks. And if, after testing it, it's a little bit low. You can go ahead and add just a little bit more fluid until it comes up to the top line. As long as you're within the hash marks there, you're just fine. And go ahead and go underneath. Make sure, uh, that's AC condensation, but make sure you don't have any leaks or anything. As you can see, it's not very difficult to change the transmission fluid on a Honda. 
So what are you waiting for? Get out and do it. Um, I think the book says something ridiculous like 120,000 miles or something like that before you change your uh, transmission fluid. Do a drain and fill like we just did. Don't do that. Do it about every 30,000 miles and you won't have any issues with your transmission. Oh, and one more thing. Don't forget to recycle your used transmission fluid. Most uh, auto parts stores will uh, take that stuff for free. Take it off your hands. Don't dump it down a uh, storm drain or in your backyard or anything like that. Make sure you properly dispose of it. All right, when you're all done, double check your work. Make sure you didn't leave anything, no tools around. You can see this job is pretty darn easy. No reason to pay a dealer, you can do this yourself. If this video helped you, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.